Tron. I'm gonna try to ride this Dunkin' Donuts. I just realized that I've had this for, I don't know, a month. And uh, other than that initial test ride that I did, I've, I've hardly ridden this thing at all. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try riding it to Dunkin' Donuts and back. See how it goes. I do have my chest uh, GoPro 3 mounted because I think it's gonna be very hard to shoot and ride uh, safely. So we'll see how this goes. shoot videos if I'm sitting down and I'm worried about dropping the GoPro. to uh, safely ride this thing at speed and uh, shoot rolling video there's just no way it would have to be the chest strap something like that because uh, you, you've got to be paying attention uh, big time the entire time you're riding um, just in that that segment that first I don't know six seven mile segment there was uh, two more pieces of metal in the road a rake and uh, two uh, two road kills including that alligator that's been there forever as well as some very large gravel that evidently got dumped on the bike lane as well. So, yeah, it's treacherous, man. Believe me, I, I, I um, I have a little bit of PTSD going on. You know, I'm just uh, I, uh, even though I got back on and rode right away, it's you know that that experience really kind of uh, wakes you up a little bit. So I'm being very, very cautious. Even though I was cruising at 27 miles an hour almost the entire time. So uh, let's continue. Uh, uh, the ride compared to um, you know my other vehicles my electric unicycle skateboard and uh, one wheel the um, the scooter feels a little bit not loose but kind of just slow almost like you're like um, and definitely not slow riding or driving but as far as the response to control goes go ahead what are you doing guys? Ay, ay, ay. As far as like back and forth, like the leans and stuff, like you're not going to be carving back and forth on a uh, scooter. At least, at least I'm not. Maybe you can, but I'm not. Um, I did most of that first segment in dual motor mode. Like I said, cruising 27 miles an hour. I just recently just put it into single motor mode, and I still got up to 26, 27 miles an hour. So um, you can still go quite fast with just a single motor. Get better uh, battery life. It just takes it just the acceleration curve is much slower but uh yeah single motor mode isn't bad and actually i think that's the way that i'm going to be riding back so i can hopefully go slower and drink coffee at the same time it's going to be interesting to see how this coffee drinking goes <music> with the suspension is nice for sure definitely can um, absorb the bumps and uh, I was just messing around a little bit more with the leaning. I think at faster speeds, definitely, you've got to be very conservative with your moves just because you're going, traveling so damn fast. But at a slower speed, I can lean into it pretty well. It's, just, it's a different kind, of, uh, different kind of physics than an EUC or a one-wheel or a skateboard. But yeah, you can, at slower speeds, you can, uh, you can get into it pretty good. Hey, how you doing? Um, Could I get a uh, large hot coffee with cream and sugar? Second meal? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks. 
Yeah, like I said, this is going to be quite the, the stunt trying to drink this. Um, I'm going to have to be riding seated and slow. So that is both, those are the two keys as far as I'm concerned. The, I did do a little bit of seated riding uh, on the way here, and it is quite comfortable. It feels very, very natural. Uh, good view. You know, good, just it's a good riding position. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Just not a great, this is just isn't a great vehicle to do a rolling vlog on. But uh, other than that, it's performing fantastic. Cruise control seated. It's the only way I can do it. Yeah, this is, this is uh, not good. Because you know, if I'm seated, I have to obviously control the brake and the, the throttle with my right hand. And I have the coffee kind of just resting over here. So I, I have some, somewhat of control on the handlebars with both hands. And then as soon as you hit a bump, uh, coffee ejects all over you. So, yeah, not not great for uh, this kind of riding. I, I'd almost have to have like a a, a uh, travel cup with like a straw or something to do this safely and, and have it strapped to my neck <laughs> because uh, you really do need both hands to control this ride. You know, this is kind of a joke. I any bump, I just keep wearing more and more coffee. So I'm just going to wedge it in my handy dandy cup holder and finish it when I get home. Sounds like a better plan. Let's uh, go back to fast mode. So that was a that was an interesting ride. Never done a Dunkin' Donuts ride quite like that. Um, yeah, when you get in seated position, um, seated position, it just it's so easy to go fast. Uh, it's, I now have uh, no question why Cindy leaves me in her dust so often when we're riding together. I don't know if you could see on my chest mounted GoPro, but at one point I was cruising 32, 33. Uh, seated, you know, when you stand up, I'd say you probably lose 10 to 15 percent of your of your speed because of the drag, the wind drag. But man, this thing just goes—it's crazy. Um, I started with 87 percent charge, and right now it's showing 32 percent after uh, you know probably about 21 mile ride. Um, a good portion of that was in dual motor mode, which really kills battery, so it's not too bad. But it's weird, you know. It's if you need to go somewhere fast and feel relatively stable, man, a scooter is a way to do it. Um, it it's, it's not nearly as interactive as any of my other PEVs, but I uh, wouldn't expect it to be. But you can do some, you know, some, some mild carving and stuff, but you need to have your hands uh, on the steering, uh, steering uh, bar, steering, not steering wheel, steering bar, handlebars. You need to have your hand on the handlebar, both hands on the handlebars, really, to have firm control. There's a few times where I was trying to, like, you know, turn this on and off and just take my hand off, especially at speed, and you get a little bit of speed wobbles. It, it's a little bit disconcerting, so you need to be paying attention to what you're doing. It's the fastest I ever uh, got the Dungeons Donuts in the back. It's something else. So this is, this is great for picking up coffee, but not drinking it along the way. So I'll keep that in mind next time. I have coffee all over me. Um, but yeah, it's a good learning experience. So if you found this video interesting, I'm not sure how it's gonna to piece together because uh, very little of it was actually shot in the GoPro 7. I had this running several times, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna mix it together, we'll see. But if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is, just, this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, you'll be seeing more Dualtron content for sure. Don't forget about that mystery vehicle. You know, maybe within 10 days I might have it, we'll see. Um, that's all I have for you for now. Hope you have a nice Saturday night. And until next time, Duckman out. Yeah, man, when you're in seated position and the cruise control's on, it's, it's like you're driving a car or a motorcycle. 
so easy. <laughs>